quite a few uh, territorial governors, but some of the early ones were, were quite sympathetic uh, to the pro-slavery point of view. And they appointed then sheriffs of the uh, various uh, settlements. And Samuel Jones was the uh, sheriff of um, our county, Douglas County, that is. And uh, he lived over in Westport in Missouri, but he, he was a contractor, but he was also the sheriff. And he found that his orders, and the orders of the territorial government, in, by that time in Lake Compton, were being ignored by these free staters uh, in Lawrence who considered the legislation that was passed by the pro-slavery territorial legislature elected in March 1855. They just considered those bogus laws, or laws that they thought were totally um, unrepresentative and they just talked about the bogus legislature so they began to uh, not <laughs> obey uh, in the eyes of Sheriff Jones and it became so um, difficult for him to um, exert his authority particularly out of some of the after some of the land claims uh, began to get mixed up <laughs> with the political issue of slavery and the extension of slavery. And so uh, Jones just decided to uh, assert his authority in May 1856. He came in and um, uh, b uh, bombarded the Free State Hotel, uh, took it down, uh, Governor Robinson's uh, home was destroyed and uh, several of the newspaper presses were thrown into the Kansas River. So that became known as the Sack of Lawrence. That was uh, in May of 1856 and it became major, major news in the northern press. Remember um, that uh, the New York papers, the New England papers, they sent correspondents out here um, actual journalist. Um, I have a diary of um, a man named Lemuel Fillmore who came out here uh, from the New York Herald Tribune uh, to observe and send out reports. You also had a lot of these settlers that wrote regularly back to the New England, both their own families and to the newspapers. So what happened in Kansas Territory was rather quickly transmitted uh, by letter and uh, in Missouri by telegraph uh, back uh, to the centers of the cities and the centers of political power uh, in the northern states.